Hey friends, I'm jumping on the AI train and somehow I've managed to avoid making any content about AI over the last couple of months, even though it's been dominating our creative world. But this is different. This actually changes my workflow and speeds things up for the better. So I wanted to share it with you guys. We are, of course, talking about Adobe Photoshop AI. Adobe has integrated Firefly, which is their AI engine, directly into Photoshop. Now it is in the beta stages, so you have to download the beta version of Photoshop, which is super easy, just, just takes a couple of minutes and you can follow the instructions in the description box below. So once you have the beta version downloaded, you can just open it up on an image and follow along with what I'm about to show you. So here I have this image that I took in landscape mode. And what I wanna do is fill out this white section of the image because I wanna turn this image into a four by five aspect ratio. So what I need to do is basically build out this bar top counter down here where you can see the white. Now in the past, I could do this using content aware fill it would take a little while to do it and it wouldn't look perfect. I don't spend a lot of time doing that because I find it tedious. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I can use this AI tool to make this way quicker and look way better. So what I'm gonna do is make a selection of this white section and I'm gonna grab some of the bar top that you can see along the top here, just underneath the drink because I want to show the AI that this is the color that I'm looking for. So next I'm gonna click on generate a fill and it's gonna ask me to describe what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna type in wooden countertop and I'm going to click on generate and what's going to happen is it's going to give me three options to choose from if I don't like any of those three options I can click on generate again and it's going to bring up another three and so on but I mean look at this in a couple of seconds it's gave me this flawless build out of a bar top counter that would have taken me a lot of time to get it looking this good and honestly what really blows my mind is just like the reflection of this cocktail is even shown in the varnish of the wood which is just super impressive and honestly kind of like terrifying at the same time. Anyway, let's move on to the next example. So again, I have another work image here that I took a couple of weeks ago. And let's say I wanted to change the garnish on this cocktail. When I took the picture, I didn't realize that it was like missing a piece of the garnish here. It's got these seeds that it's all very normal to see on a cocktail, but honestly, it just from a perfectionist point of view, it just bothers me a little bit. So I wanna see if I can change that. So what I'm gonna do is make a selection of that garnish, something like that looks good. And then I'm gonna click on generate a fill and again, type in cocktail lime garnish. Let's see how that does. I mean, like the color looks a little strange. I could easily change that, but it's just so impressive that in a couple of seconds, it completely changes what was originally there to something that arguably could look better and more perfect. Let's try this again and I'll change up the keywords this time. So instead of cocktail lime garnish, I'll just type in cocktail um, dehydrated, dehydrated lime garnish. That's a little more specific. So let's see what that brings up. That's the first one. Let's click through these here. You can move this around on the screen, by the way. You just grab it by this little handle here and you can put it wherever you want. So this is the first option it gave me. Let's click through. I mean, like, if you didn't know, would you know? If you didn't know, would you know? Look at that. It's, again, it's like, it's the small details that impress me. I mean, it's not perfect. You could change, you could definitely clone stamp along here and make it a little bit better but it's the depth of field, how this blur falls off back here. It's, if I just turn this off, you can see here's the original. You can see that it's out of focus back here. And if I turn on the generative layer, it has the same depth of field. Like it's matching what the picture is. That's, I, that's what's so impressive. It's like the little details like that. It's just, this is such a game changer. It's gonna speed up everything in my workflow. I wonder if I make this image smaller and then see if the AI can build out this image. So I've gone ahead and made a selection of all of this background here, all of this checkered area. And I wanna see if it fills out this area to make the image expand, which is something that I would do a lot for images because not every picture I take is shared in the same aspect ratio across every platform. Sometimes there's an image I take in landscape form that I need to change into story form, which is nine by 16. That can take a long time to build out those images to make them seamless. If this works out, I mean, I'm gonna be just more impressed than I already am. So let's see what it does. 
I haven't typed in any keywords. I just want to see if it scans this image and replicates it as best it can. So let's see how it goes. Oh my God. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. If I turn off this layer, this is what we started with, or this is what I wanted to fill out. And it just did such a great job. I mean, there's obviously some lines here that I could easily just grab a spot healing brush and just run over those. You could easily just get rid of those. That is incredible. Like, like more than half this image is fake and I just made it in about 30 seconds, which would have taken me probably a couple of hours to do before. All right, let's move on to another example. Not only can it correct the mistakes that I showed you in the other images, but it can also add objects to your image. So as you can see in this sky here, there is no plane. There is no plane flying in the sky. But what if I just made a circle and I typed in a plane and then just see what happens with that? Like the most basic, like the most simplest of commands. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let's just cycle through the three versions it gave us. So this is our first. That's our second, which looks kind of like kind of like a toy. And our third. I mean, you could probably get really specific with the type of plane you want, but that I mean, like let's just check something here. If I just grab the layer, oh, okay, you can see that exactly where I drew like a circle around the clouds, it literally turned that into, uh, basically turned everything in that circle into the AI layer. Okay, let's move on to another image. Okay, so here I have this model posing in front of this orange background, and I've already gone and highlighted the area of his body that I want to superimpose. You've probably seen examples like this on TikTok and Instagram Reels where People have been changing clothes at the click of a button. And I think like that was, that's where I saw this AI advertised and I thought it was really impressive. So I kind of want to try this out. So I've gone ahead and uh, made a selection around his body. And what I'm going to do before I go any further is come up to select, uh, modify and expand. And I'm going to leave that at about 10 pixels. And that's just making room for, you know, whatever AI generated clothing is going to put on his body. It's not going to be like skin tight. It's going to look like actual clothing. So let's go ahead and click Generate a Fill. And I'm going to type in uh, Colorful Shirt. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I mean, that's an interesting looking shirt, but let's, uh, let's cycle through the three options here. I mean, those look kind of ridiculous, but I was very vague with my uh, instructions. So let's try another one. Um, flannel shirt generate. I mean, that's not terrible. I mean, it looks like it's AI generated, but again, click of a button, couple of seconds, can't really be mad at that. You could probably get really specific with the details of what you want to see as well. That could make a big difference. I'm in the process of starting my own clothing company, like t-shirts and hoodies and stuff like that. So sober crew, watch this space. And just being able to do this at the push of a button is gonna be such a game changer for ideas. It's, I'm really excited about it. I haven't been excited about AI since, you know, it started snowballing. But this, because it's a program that I use every day, this is different. This is, it's already speeding up my workflow and that is just incredible. So yeah, expect more videos on this in the future. If you found this one interesting or helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in another one very soon. Peace.